Hey guys, welcome to another Python tutorial for beginners. So in today's video, we'll be talking about the various different set method. Uh, please note that this will be the first half of the video and we will have the second half of the video coming in next week. And from these two videos, we'll be talking about some of the operations that we've learned in mathematics such as union, intersection, difference, symmetric difference, as well as some other useful method and built-in functions that we can utilize with the set data type. So without further ado, let's get into this. So as you can see in the screen right now, I have a Venn diagram that shows the union between two sets. So if you have a two different sets, the union of this set means everything that is in A and B, including the ones that are in overlapping between two sets. So let me first create two sets here. So I can do set A and then say A, B, and C as well as some integer value. And set B equal to C, D, E, and 3, 4, and 5. So now we have our two sets. If you want to get the result of union between set A and set B, we have two ways. The first way is to use the union method within the set class. So I can call the union method on set A first. So set A dot union, and then put the set B as the argument. And obviously we can print this out to see the result. And same thing, print set B dot union set A. And if I run this, uh, you will see the two exactly same result because you are getting the unique element from both set A and set B including the overlapping ones. So it doesn't really matter which set that you are calling the union method on as long as you pass the argument vice versa. So in this case, we are calling the union method on set A and we are putting the set B as the argument and vice versa, we are calling the union method on set B and we are putting the set A as the argument so that the result will be always identical regardless of which set that you are calling the union method on. And the second way is to use the bitwise operator or. So in Python, the or bitwise operator can be utilized with a vertical bar character. Uh, so I can just write print set a vertical bar set b. And I can also do the same thing print set b and set a. The or of a variable in this case doesn't matter as I explained in the union method because we are getting all unique elements in between set a and set b. So if I just run this one more time, then you will see a full identical result all printed out. The first half is coming from this union method and the other half is coming from this uh, vertical bar method. And another thing to note about the union method is that the union method can take arbitrary number of arguments. So let me create another set here. So I can create a set C and then set it equal to 5, 6, and 7. And let me write another union method here. So print set A dot union. And in this case, I'm gonna pass two different sets here. So the first one is set B. And the second one is set C. And let me just comment this so that we can only see that one result. And then if I run this, uh, then you will see a result with all the unique elements from set A, B, and C. So as you can see, the element 5 in set C is overlapping with the 5 in set B. So that the only two new elements that we added into this result is the 6 and 7. And as I mentioned, the variable that you are calling the union method on doesn't really matter because union method actually gets all the unique values anyway. So what I can do here is that I can just copy this and paste it at the bottom. And we can just change the order. So I'm going to call the union method from set B and I'm going to replace this with a set A and if I run this uh, then you will still see the same result but just in different order because set is on order. Okay, so the next method that we're going to talk about is the intersection. So intersection basically means the common element between set A and set B. So in this case, element C and element 3 are the common elements between set A and set B. And just like the union method, we also have a two ways that we can perform the intersection operation. So let's first start with the intersection method. So I can do print set A and call the intersection method intersection and then put the set B as the argument and same thing print set b dot intersection and put the set a as the argument and if i run this then you will see a two identical result here because c and 3 are the only common elements between set a and set b so it doesn't really matter which set that you are calling the intersection method on because we are only comparing against two different sets here and we can also perform the intersection method using the bitwise operator and so i can do print set a and set b and same thing, print set B and set A. So what this and basically means is that what is the common element between the set A and set B? So this and basically checks what is the set A and set B. In other words, what is the common element? So if I run this one more time, 
then you will see the four identical results. First half coming from this intersection method, and then the rest half is coming from this and bitwise operator. And similar to how we did it in the union method, this intersection method can take arbitrary number of arguments. So let me create another set here. So set C and set it equal to one, two, and three. And let me also write another intersection statement here. So print set A dot intersection. And in this case, I'm going to put set B and set C as the argument. And let me just comment the other ones. And if I just run this one more time, then you will see one element 3 here because 3 are the only common elements among set A, set B, and set C. So 3 here, 3 here, and 3 here. Okay, so moving on to the next method, let's talk about the intersection update method. So as the name says it, this method allows us to update the element in a specific set to the element that are common in n number of sets. So this may sound confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. So let's get into the example here. So what is the common element between set A and set B? So common elements here is 3 and C. So if I call the intersection update method on set A, for example, so set A dot intersection update and put set B as the argument. And if I print the set A and set B one more time, then what's going to happen here is that since we are calling the intersection update method on set A variable, the set A will be updated with a 3 and C because that's the result of the intersection. While the set B will remain as is because we are only calling the intersection update method on set A. So let's test it out. So if I run this, then you will see two elements, 3 and C, which is the common element in the set A because we call this intersection update method. While for the set B, you will see all the elements as is because we haven't called the intersection update method. And we can try the opposite way here. So I can replace this set A to set B and then put the set A as the argument and run this one more time. Then for the set A, you see the element as is, as we specified here. But for the set B, you only see 3 and C, which are the common elements found in set A and set B. So this intersection update method updates a specific set that it was being called on with the result of the intersection. Okay, so now then, let's try to create another set here and put that as a one more argument into this uh, intersection update method. So nothing is different, but this intersection method will just consider one more set to find the common element and update it to the set that we are calling this method from, in this case, set B. So let me create set C here, and then one, two, and three. And then if I just pass the set C as the argument, and then just run it one more time. And set C. Now you will only see one element 3 here from the set B and the reason why is because we added a set C and the only common element among set A, B and C is the element 3 here. 3, 3 and 3. Okay, so moving on to the next method, let's talk about the difference. So as you can see in the Venn diagram, difference means that you are getting the difference between two sets, meaning it will only return either elements that are only in set A, but not in set B, or elements that are only in set B, but not in set A. So let me show you an example here. So we have a two different sets here, set A and set B. So I can do print set A dot difference, and then put the set B as the argument. Another parenthesis. And if I run this, then you will see 1, 2, B, A. And the reason for this is because 1, 2, B, A are the only elements that are specific to set A. So within this set A, if you omit the common elements, which are 3 and C, then you are left with 1, 2, B, and A. And we can also try this with a set B. So let me just copy this and paste it here. And then replace it to set B and set A. And if I run this one more time, then in the second print statement, you see E, 4, 5, D, which are the only elements that are specific to set B, but not to set A. And just like the union and intersection method, we can also use the minus operator here. So I can do print set A minus set B, which is identical to uh, calling the difference method on the set A and vice versa. So print set B minus set A. And if I run this one more time, and if you look at the second half of the print statement, you will see the one to AB, which is the same result as calling uh, this print statement. And you will also see ED45, which is identical to calling the difference method on the set B. And the difference method also takes the arbitrary number of arguments. So we can specify set C here. And then I can say 1, 2, 3, 4, and D. And if I put a set A.difference set B and set C, 
and if I run this one more time then if I scroll to the very top then you will only see A and B because now A and B are the only elements that are specific to set A because now set C has element 1 and 2 so 1 and 2 are not specific to set A anymore so the only specific elements to set A is A and B which is what we are seeing here Okay, so moving on to the difference update method. So this method is similar to the intersection update method, but the only difference this time is that the set will be updated with the elements with the result of the difference operation. So let's get into example here. So if I call set A difference update and then put set B as the argument. And if I print set A as well as set B and run it, then you will see 1, 2, A, B for the set A, but set B remains as is because we are only calling the difference update method on set A. So set A is updated with the result of the difference operation, which is 1, 2, A, B, because C and 3 are the common elements between the set A and set B. And let me also try to do the opposite here. So I can just copy this and paste it here and then put a set B here and set A here. If I just comment this and then just run this one more time and this time you will see all the elements in set A as we specified here but for the set B you will see 4, 5, E, B which are the elements only specific to the set B because set B was updated with the result of the difference call and so now then let's try to create another set here so set C and then I'm gonna put this as a 3, 4, and 5 and within this existing call let me just add set uh, C here and if I just run this one more time with the print set C, run it, uh, then you will see set A and set C as is because we are only calling the difference update method on set B. So if you look at the set B, you only see E and D, which makes sense because now set C has the 3, 4, and 5. So the only elements that are specific to set B now is D and E, uh, which is what we are seeing here. Okay guys, that's it for this video. We've talked about the, some of the important mathematic operations about union, intersection, and difference using set data type in Python. In our next video, we will try to talk about symmetric difference as well as some other useful methods that we can utilize in set data type. So please stay tuned. And if you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe and like button. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in next videos.